I thought I'd just do a uh, little quick update on the Nomos sundial that I posted a video on a couple of weeks ago. Um, now, in that video, I indicated that uh, the particular uh, sundial that I purchased really wasn't uh, calibrated for my location in the Southern Hemisphere uh, at uh, the latitude that Sydney is at. Uh, but I've, after fiddling around with it for a while, uh, I think I've managed to overcome uh, that, uh, that problem uh, merely by adjusting the position of the middle ring, which has a, uh, a little uh, hole in it which allows the uh, the sunlight to shine through onto the uh, inner part of the cylinder um, and uh, fall upon a uh, some time markings to give you an idea of the time <coughs> so uh, what I've done is basically I've just uh, taken the thing out and uh, set it uh, like you would set your, your wristwatch uh, um, if I knew what the time was and I thought probably uh, midday was the, the best or most accurate uh, time of the day to attempt to do this uh, you just merely uh, uh, point the thing at the sun uh, adjust the little hole so that the uh, sunlight is shining directly onto the 12 um, and then um, off you go uh, that uh, I think this technique should uh, allow for daylight saving time and, and other things, and it it's basically just uh, adjusting the uh, the sundial in a similar fashion to as, as you would have to adjust a, a regular flat uh, sundial if you move to a different latitude. Um, so with a regular flat sundial, you've got the uh, that the upright thing called the gnomon and uh, if you uh, if you travel around a bit and have a look at sundials you'll notice that these gnomons uh, if they've been uh, made correctly are all at different angles uh, so uh, essentially what uh, uh, you will see is uh, the uh, the further you are from the equator the more upright the gnomon will be um, and uh, that that is uh, in the northern hemisphere effectively you're, you're pointing the gnomon directly at the north star uh, so the gnomon needs to be uh, pointing at uh, the, the a celestial pole in order to provide an accurate um, shadow to indicate uh, the local time so uh, so what I did is I've, uh, I've adjusted the um, uh, the center ring here in a similar way to you might uh, adjust a gnomon and uh, I've got a couple of little views here of the uh, the thing displaying uh, the time at uh, uh, three o'clock and uh, and one also at uh, five o'clock in the afternoon uh, Australian uh, Eastern summer time so uh, look uh, I think uh, that this thing uh, will work pretty much anywhere in the world all you need to do is uh, effectively uh, set the time on it as you would uh, a watch um, and then obviously uh, as uh, the, the months go on you will need to uh, uh, adjust the uh, uh, the rotation of the uh, that little inner ring uh, in order to maintain um, an accurate assessment of uh, local time. Anyway, thank you uh, for watching and uh, see you later. Bye.